this and go ahead. Hello, my name is Ella. I'll be your counselor today. Hi, I'm Jess. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Of course. So how are you doing today? Um, well, doing all right. It was kind of a busy day today. Um, I work full time, so it's kind of hectic having to work for eight hours and then driving up here in another hour. So I'm kind of busy during the day. Sounds like you drive a lot. Yes. So what do you do for work? Um, I work at a mental hospital for kids. Um, I do case management there right now, um, but in the future I'm hoping to, once I get my license, to start doing counseling there. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. So what kind of case management stuff do you do with your friends? So I deal with like admissions and discharge. So when they come in, I deal with all their paperwork. And then while they're there, I try to build like a little bit of a rapport with them so that we have a good relationship together. And then I deal with their discharge paperwork. But sometimes obviously it's hard because not all the kids want the help or want to be there. So it's a difficult time trying to get them like used to the situation they're going to be in. And it's about a six to nine month program, so. So when you say difficult, what does that mean to you? Um, it's just, it's not necessarily difficult for me, perhaps, um, more for them. It's just hard, like, taking them from their homes. They're used to, some of them live with parents, siblings, so it's hard for me sometimes to get them used to the situation that they're in, that they're not going to be with their family. We don't allow in-person visits, so it's kind of like they're separated for a while and just under our care, so it's kind of just difficult getting them used to the situation they're going to be in. So how do you help them get used to that situation? Um, mostly, I just try to do activities that they like. I ask them what, they, what their preferred activities are, and I do like basketball with them if they like that, football, art, I try to keep them busy during the day so they're not as much worrying about what's going on outside the program or they're just focused on their day. So it's, it's hard sometimes, but I like it. What do you mean by hard? Um, well, it's hard for me right now because I guess working full time with a job, I don't have a lot of me time anymore. Um, I don't really have time to do things that I like. Like during the week, I work eight hours and then I come to class and my only like me time really is my hour drive in the car and my hour drive home. So it's hard just like staying positive and fitting my own things into my schedule. I'm working on it, we're getting there, slowly but surely. So what type of activities would you like to fit into your schedule in um, ideal situation? Well, I really like hanging out with my friends. That's one thing like that's hard for me right now because some of them are still in college and then the ones that are home work full time as well. So it's like just balancing our schedules and being able to see them because like last year I lived on campus. So I was used to like being around my friends every day and like being able to do anything with them at any time. But now it's like I kind of feel left out because there are some of them are still here like living together and I'm at home and like they get to do fun things and they're like oh well you work all the time like so it's it's kind of annoying <laughs> so what you're saying is you're used to hanging out with your friends I was, I'm assuming that you went to college with them yeah did you go to Kutztown here I did okay so it's just hard balancing out your schedules and making time for these activities that you would like to do with them absolutely and I feel like sometimes it's like they not that they're not like I don't want to say they're not responsible, but like they're in this like still college phase where like they go out like every night, they like can do whatever they want. They don't have as much of a workload. And then they expect me to be able to do the same thing. And like, I can't because I have my work. And then on top of that, I have like all my assignments for classes. So it's like, I don't want to disappoint them, but I also need like to get my life together and follow the track that I want to do. So it's hard like balancing in between those two. So how does that make you feel? Um, honestly conflicted because 
like as much as I like miss being able to be around my friends, I also like get a lot more out of my job and what I do. And I feel like it fulfills me more in life. Like I'm happier now because like I have a sense of purpose. Like when I was in school, it wasn't like I didn't have a sense of purpose, but there wasn't as much. I had like a lot of free time where I just sat there and like thought about getting my life together. And now I feel like I'm starting to go on that path. So it's a lot more fulfilling. But then at the same time, it's like, I don't want to disappoint my friends because like they want to hang out with me and they want to see me and I feel like I always have to blow them off. And what do you mean by blow off? Um, just like they ask me to come up and like I have to say no every time because I'm like, I have to do this instead. And they don't like understand why. Like they're like, well, can't you just do that a different day? And I'm like, no, like it's due now, I have to do it. Didn't you say they were still in school? Yes. So wouldn't they still have time in as well? Um, yeah, they do, but I feel like it's like, I don't know, like, I guess like in my four years of college at least, I didn't have as much. Like they have like assignments, but they get it done in like two hours. Like when, like, it's not the same for me. Like I work eight hours, so it's not like an assignment. It's like, I have to be there those eight hours. And then my assignments come separate. So it's like, they do have assignments, but they don't have as heavy of a workload. So they're able to do like more things that they want that I'm not able to do. So how do you manage that with your heavy workload and just work along with your schoolwork and then having to tell your friends all the time that do it even though you both have assignments so I try my best like on the weekends like even if it's only for an hour or two I'll come up here and like hang out with them for a little bit but I feel like it's always being pressured like more like even when I come up for an hour they're like well why can't you just stay the night like why do you always have to go home and do this and that and like I try so hard to like please them because I feel like I need to please them but at the same time like if I procrastinate that work I'm going to feel worse about myself and stress myself out more so it's like balancing stressing myself out or pleasing my friends and how are you managing that um I'm not <laughs> I'm trying to um I feel like it's getting better because I'm finding like little gaps like right before this class I went over and hung out with my one friend before I had to come here so it's like just finding those little pieces of time that I'm able to still be around them but still holding true to what I have to get done for my work and school. So how do they feel about these little gaps of time? Do um, they appreciate them or? I feel like yeah I feel like they're starting to appreciate it. They're starting to understand more like that I do have stuff I have to get done. And I feel like now that it's mid semester, it's almost getting easier for me because they're starting to have more work now. So it's like, they don't have as much time on their plates to be asking me to do things. So it's like helpful, but on the weekends, like I try my best to show up and be around them so that I can make them happy. So on weekends when you're coming up to make them happy, how do you feel about that? Um, it makes me happy too because like I'm I'm a people person. I really like being around people and like I love being around the people I am at my job, but I'm either with like kids or I'm with older adults. There's no one really there that's my age. So it's nice like on the weekends to be able to like take my professional like personality not that like I'm completely different but it's like I can be myself completely I don't have to worry about like acting like a case manager or acting like and someone that should like be a good mentor for these kids not saying that like I'm a complete different person but it's like just being able to not worry about anything I'm saying or doing and just completely being myself and being able to talk to my friends about like how I'm feeling because at work I'm not talking about how I'm feeling, I'm worrying about how other people are feeling. 
So when you're at work, you have to put on like this facade of like being a professional and being a mentor to the children. Whereas when you get to come up and spend little bits of time with your friends, you get to kind of be more like yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. You get to open up and talk about your feelings with them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. I feel like it's like a good release. Like you need to have that because at work, like, as I said, like there's a lot of older people and I feel like they don't relate to like where I am in life as much. Like they all have kids and like they sit in the office and they're like, oh, we're talking about their married lives and kids. And I'm like, I'm 22 years old, like I'm not there yet. So it's like, I have no one really like to relate to when I'm at work. So like when I come up here on the weekends, we can talk about things that we both relate to and like interesting things I can catch up on their life and they can catch up on mine. So just for clarification, when you said people at work where they have like their marriage and their kids, are you talking about like coworkers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like I work in an office and like there's probably like four other people in there with me all day. And like I feel like they have not that like I I'm like left out or anything, but like I feel like they're easier to relate to each other because they both have kids, they both have husbands, like they both can share those experiences. Whereas I'm like, I'm kind of younger than all of them. Like I'm good, but like 15 years younger than them. So it's like, I'm at a different part of my life than they are. And like with my friends, we're kind of at the same point where they're a lot more similar in age. So I'm able to talk to them a lot easier. So how does that make you feel when you're at work and you feel like the people you're surrounded with, you can't really relate to? Um. It makes me kind of feel optimistic, like, to see how, like, they're happy, like, they seem like they're at a good point in their life, and it makes me, I feel like, eager to learn from them at the same time, because they're, like, higher up in the job than I am, so, like, I sit with them, and they'll help me, like, build my skills, so I definitely like that, it's more like a relationship where I can grow from. Whereas my friends, it's like we're equals, but these people I can learn a lot more. So like, I'm optimistic to see what I can learn from them and how I can grow in that field and continue this path. And what path would that be? Um, just counseling in general. It's something I've always wanted to do. So it's, it's like, I'm excited right now because I'm in a field where I can start somewhere and learn from the people around me. Like I sit in meetings where it's a clinician that talks about all the things she does as a counselor. And it's really positive for me because I learn all these new terms and everything they do. And I see how she talks to the kids. So it allows me to build my own skills in this work. So are you able to utilize those skills within your job field? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, I'm case management right now, so it's kind of more on the social work field, but I still have opportunities to be in meetings with the treatment team and things like that. So it's, it makes me not like, I don't know how to say this, like, it makes me optimistic, I guess the same word, like to see what else there is out there. And I'm able to see one side of it right now, like the paperwork, the admissions, the discharge, but I'm also able to see the counseling. And it like assures me that I'm in the path that I wanna be right now because that's all I am looking forward to is doing that. Doing the counseling or doing the paperwork? Doing the counseling, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the paperwork. <laughs> it kind of bores me sitting there, but. Yeah, but it's definitely hard juggling the two. That's my only thing. I think also I need to work more on like doing things for me because a lot of times, like as I said, I'm worried about like my work, my school, and my friends rather than like what do I want to do. So I feel like I need to like sit back and be like, maybe I should just take a day to do what I want instead of worrying about coming up and pleasing my friends or doing other things like that. So what does a day look like that you do things that you wanna do? Honestly, I have no idea. And that's where my problem is really rooted from. 
Like as a kid, my mom put me in three different sports. So like I went from school, I'd eat dinner in the car, then I'd go to dance class, I'd leave, go to soccer. Like I never really, my whole life had time. Like I, I would do three different activities. My mom would pick me up from school. I'd eat in the car, change in the car, and go from activity to activity. And then on the weekends, it was like, that was it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I heard that go off. Yeah. <laughs>